Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at class and object. Class is like a template of real world things. Class contains properties and behaviors. Properties will hold data and behavior defines functionality. You can create object from the class. Object is like instance of the class. Object can be created without class as well. Let's see what this means with the help of a diagram. If you see here, we have a class called person. So this person has a couple of properties defined in it. The first one is name and the second one is age. And it also has a behavior called speak. It's basically a function. And then we have created two objects from this class called person. Uh, the first object is called John and the second object is Tom. Each have their own value for the properties, name and age but they share the same uh, behavior which is speak so basically when you create object you can have data specific to each of these objects and share all the behaviors from the class so in this case we share the behavior called speak because we don't have specific versions of speak for each object so let's see some example for this now I have vs code open here so i'm going to create a new class called person so to create class you need to use class keyword and then name of the class so it's going to be person and within this class i'm going to have two properties the first one is name which is going to be of string type and the second one is age which is going to be number and it is going to have a behavior called speak so basically what this does is it prints the name and age of the person and it also says that person is speaking so now if i want to create object what i need to do is i need to uh, use a new keyword to create object so let's say I want to create an object called um, John all I need to do is say let John is equal to new person and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set value for uh, these two properties for John object to do that you can say John dot name is john and then we can say john dot age is say 20 so we have created our first object which is john and it has name as john and age as 20 and if you want to create another object let's say tom then i can do that using same syntax so it's new person and then i'm going to say tom dot name is equal to tom and then tom.age is equal to uh, 23. So now we have created two objects. So if I call uh, the behavior speak on object one, which is John, then you should see uh, John 20 speaking. Let me run this. As you can see here, it says John 20 speaking. If I call tom.speak, then you should also see Tom 23 speaking. Let me run this as you can see here so basically when you create object you create object specific data and share the behavior from the template which is the class so that's what class and object is now let's say you don't want to assign these values after the object is created you want to assign these values while the object is being created you can do that using something called constructor so to create constructor you'll say constructor and then you need two properties the first one is name which is going to be string type and the second one is age which is going to be number type so then within the body what we are going to say is we are going to assign this name to the name that we have defined in the class so to access this member or this name you need to use this keyword so this dot name is equal to name and then you can also assign age this dot age is equal to age so with this instead of specifying name and age after the object is created you can pass them while the object is being created so i can say john 20 and get rid of this and here tom 23 you can also get rid of this so if i run this you should see the same result that we have seen previously as you can see it shows the same result with typescript what you can also do is while we define these parameters for this constructor we can also ask it to be a property of the class without creating these two uh, properties explicitly to do that uh, we just need to add something called access modifier 
so if i say public for these two then i can get rid of this this will automatically create two properties name and age in my class and i don't need this assignment as well so if i run this you should see same results as you can see here it shows same result i'll cover access modifier in the next video in more detail that's it for now thank you